Parishioners and friends, uh, good day to everyone. Welcome back to Father Alfie's table. Today uh, we are going to do a dish that is very, very simple. It's mussels. And uh, those are mussels uh, from uh, Salt Spring Island. I know they're very good and they're small. I, um, some of the mussels I went uh, to pick uh, a couple of years ago in Port Renfrew. Uh, Port Renfrew is a beautiful place where really it's, it's the creation of God right in your face. And I went fishing with uh, someone um, over there and, and he stopped by the rocks. I asked him to stop by the rocks and I went with a big uh, screwdriver and uh, took some of those wild mussels which is really big. And it's also, if you go to a botanical beach, it's so beautiful. It's, it's the best place, I think, on the island to see the beautiful creation of God. Those beautiful rocks with the potholes in the center, with the life, marine life inside, micro marine. It's so beautiful. It's a fascinating, beautiful hike, too. And so on Botanical Beach, right, right on the edge of the park, because you have to be outside the park, you're not allowed to pick up anything on the park, in the park, but on the edge, you see these rocks, with full of mussels, you walk on mussels, they're all wild and so beautiful. But I noticed that when they're too big, sometimes they're not as tasty, you know, you almost have to cut them with a knife. But this, uh, this is really good, they're really good from uh, their local, South Spring Island. So I notice that sometimes they're clean, sometimes not clean, which means not just wash them. You see this is a, a mussel that has a beer coming out and that's how they get fed. And uh, this we need to take it out. So that's the only word. Sometimes they're already clean, sometimes they're not. Those ones are not. So with the pliers, very simply you grab them and then you pull them up. That's it. And then we put them here and we give them a rinse also. So this is a little bit of a work, um, and it's so tight now, it's, it's forcing the beer in because it's still alive, which is good. You see, we have a mussel here that is broken, so we don't want to eat that. Because it's been it's broken, we don't know what went inside, so we'll tuck it. We just grab it and pull it out. So we took the beer out, some of them, not all of them, because not all of them had it. So there were some many inside, so when we find it inside, you just pull it out, it's a bit more annoying. Um, but they're all ready to go, we just give them a rinse. So there are many ways of doing mussels. The way I'll do it is uh, with the onions. I have two onions because they're very small. Garlic, garlic always with, um, with mussels. And lemon, drizzle of olive oil and parsley. White wine, red peppers uh, to give some color and chop it very, very fine. I'm gonna use probably half of it because it's a bit too big. We don't want to have the red peppers taste uh, overpowering the mussels just to give them a little bit of color. I find it better when I um, smash them a little bit and the skin come out much easier. Of course, if you don't like garlic, you're allergic to garlic, just easy, don't put garlic. Put right here. And we're gonna have half red pepper, so we'll cut it this way. Clean the inside, the white. So we have the red, the white, and the green, which is the color of the Italian flag. So we're gonna start to turn on the stove uh, medium, medium high. Olive oil. We're gonna saute the onions a little bit and the um, red pepper. And the garlic. Okay, so pepper, the onions, 
and the garlic. Can you hear the music? Beauty. For doing mussels in this way, you want a very large pan fry and with, with the kind of sides that are tall. So it's very fast and it's very easy. Uh, sometimes I understand mussels, if we're not used to it, it can be intimidating to say, oh, mussels, I don't know how to cook them. Well, it's, it's really simple. The cleaning maybe a little bit of time, but it's very simple. We let this drizzle, very high heat now. We put the mussels, white wine, and cover, and in a few minutes they open and they're cooked. It's very simple. Ready to go. We're gonna put the mussels in. High flame because we put wine, wine is cold, so we need a high temperature right now. Get the lid because you know with uh, oil and water, wine is gonna splash everywhere. We close and the steam inside will cook the mussels in like a few minutes. You see the already opening? You know, you don't want to cook them too long, not, not more than five minutes. So this parsley, today is uh, the day that we had um, the snowfall, that Saturday. Probably when you watch it, you'll think about a few days ago, last week. And uh, this morning I couldn't get out and I couldn't get fresh parsley. But I had parsley on my, um, on my deck, but it's covered of snow. So I had to rescue the parsley from the snow and revive it a little bit so it's not the best condition but it's fresh from the garden. Parsley is cut. Lemon in a half. And this is the last touch. You see? They are ready. Three minutes. Slow it a little bit now. Instead of um, red peppers, if you put in, uh, tomatoes, uh, cherry tomatoes, it will make a nice sauce, and that was good for when I make uh, spaghetti with uh, with mussels. But this is made to eat just like that as a side dish and appetizer. We'll put salt, and then pepper, parsley. and lemon. All right, you can uh, put the pot right on the table if you wish, or you put them in a nice uh, bowl. They're nice and open. Mix a little bit so the salt and the pepper kind of mix in the, in the juice on the bottom. And so it goes inside the mussels. Of gently because you don't want to break them, they're fragile. And this is just one way to make mussels, there are tons of ways to make them, but it's very easy. It takes like literally like three minutes of heat and they're open, they're cooked. So we're gonna turn it off now. This is ready to go, and it looks so beautiful, looks so good, but never trust what you see. You need to taste to verify that what you see is truly good. It's gonna be hard. It doesn't matter. I go for it. Can't wait. Mmm. Mmm. Amazing. So good. And then what you do with this one, if you like, you pick another one. Let's get this one. It's too hot. You can pick this up. Oh, this one is one, look. 
you see the beard that was the one closed and we couldn't take it out is right here so you don't want to eat this beard here you want to and once they are cooked they're actually easy you hold it like that I'm gonna take this out mm -mm -mm. and then mm, the juice mm, delicious you can taste the sea the softness of the ocean mm. And the red pepper, very mild, but give a nice flavor. Well, what can I say? I'm going to get some mussels for Lent. It's coming, we are in Lent. I bet that when you watch this video, it's already Lent because we are in the week of Lent. And um, seafood is a good time for Lent, right? We're trying to stay away from meat. Fasting on Friday. So, mussels is a good idea easy to make. God bless you and have a blessed land.